Man, I'm, um, I'm tired of religion, you know? I'm tired of religion, I'm tired of division. I just wanna know what it looks like to love people, you know? I wanna, I wanna know that Jesus who goes to where the broken people together you know but we do got a hope and his name is Jesus and he's changed my life spirit lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you would come me take me deeper than my feet For me, what it took th this whole transition to a new level that is that I went through an uncomfortable phase. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was pulling you know, sugars, everything. I believe in, uh, I believe in God. I believe that uh, Jesus died for my sins. He's the reason I'm here, so I, I definitely have to, you know, remember that. And, you know, as soon as I start forgetting, you know, I gotta like click back and be like, you know, this is why I'm here. All right, the first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following: DUI, alcohol or drugs, resisting without violence and driving with an expired driver's license and who is representing the state and who is representing the defense in this case. Now Justin Bieber is feeling the stress. His week has been marred by hospitalization and a blow up with the paparazzi. The larger than life 19 year olds finding out supersized fame comes with supersized baggage. In trouble for Justin Bieber, police swarming all over his mansion looking for evidence that Bieber egged his neighbor's house. Fans are freaking out that Justin Bieber is back on that. The concerning part is that throughout the video, Justin is uncontrollably shaking and appears to be on some heavy drugs. Justin Bieber is speaking out after being accused of sexually assaulting a woman back in 2014. Do you think the person that you, the you were then was on a path of self-destruction? Do you feel that you were on self, that you were self-destructing? Oh, for sure. It would have been, it would have been no going up. It was bad. It would have been, yeah. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. It was dark, really dark. So when did you decide to actually move within the guidelines and how did you find yourself away from, yeah, I believe in Jesus, but I'm going to drink or do drugs or sleep around or all these other distractions. How did you get out of that world? What was the turning point for you? I think it was my perception of who Jesus really was. Yeah, I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff in my past. I wasn't able to move on. But the more I looked at, so now I'm not doing, the way I look at my relationship with God and with Jesus is, I'm not trying to earn God's love by doing good things. God has already loved me for who I am before I did anything to earn and deserve it. It's a free gift by accepting Jesus and just giving your life to Him. And what He did is the gift. The forgiveness is the thing that we look at Him. You know, I'm going to worship you, God, because you gave me something so good.
think Jesus would say to Justin Bieber that he should be unashamed of being a Christian. I think Jesus would say to Justin, um, you're a Christian and you can have fun, but it depends on what kind of fun you're having. I've spent a lot of time searching for answers and truth over the past few years. After a rough couple of years of heartbreak and bad decisions, I felt an urge to get my life back on track. But fear and shame gripped me so tight. And the world's outlook on me began to play better. The awful things I'd said and done to people had weighed on me. And the world's outlook on me was so negative and understandably so. I was left to believe that nothing I could do or say would redeem my past. And I became tired. Tired of falling short of um, standards. I think that God is the only one keeping me sane right now. Like I'm a Christian, you know, I believe in God. I believe that, you know, Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I have a relationship with him. I'm able to talk to him and really he's the reason I'm here, so I, I definitely have to, you know, remember that. And you know, as soon as I start forgetting, you know, I gotta like click back and be like, you know, this is why I'm here. You may have heard of this man named Jesus. After all, he is the most famous human being in history. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him may not die but have eternal life.